Hey guys, quick video for you today. A video about the racing gates timing belt for Subaru. That's the noise in case you're wondering. All right, so that's the belt, right? It is the racing T328RB made in Japan timing belt by Gates. And look what it did to the pulleys. There's a, a good amount of paint on all the smooth pulleys. A little bit less on this one. Quite a bit on this one. There's the water pump and there's the smallest pulley. So, yes, that is the paint. Now, I knew this was gonna happen because right after I installed this belt, I read something online. This guy said that he had it for about 5,000 miles. And when the car started running rough, which was, uh, he figured it was out of time, check engine lights uh, for misfire, multiple misfire and all, he took the timing cover off and voila, there was a lot of paint buildup on all the rollers. This is something I read. And he says it skipped timing. It was, you know, off a tooth. Uh, at least one. This was a year and a half ago. This, this is something that I read. So anyway, so I knew, and this is after I installed it, right? So I figured, you know, I'm going to check it again after a thousand miles. So I did my break-in miles. And I did one track day and one autocross. And, you know, I knew I was going to take this apart and just check things out. After maybe, I don't know, 700 miles or so before the track day, I actually took this one cover off and I saw a little bit of paint on just this roller, right? You could see this roller if you just remove this cover, pull it out a little bit. Uh, so I figured, yeah, I'm for sure going to be replacing this belt soon. So this is a thousand miles, maybe a little bit over, over a thousand miles. And this is what it did. I don't know about skipping time. Maybe, you know, when it gets a lot of it over here on this belt, it starts to wander over here and maybe it may skip. I don't know. If, if it was my guess, then it would skip on this pulley over here. I'm not sure where it's keeping on the guy or if it did or whatever, I, I don't care. All I know is that this may cause issues later on. If I were to not check for say 20,000 miles, 40,000 miles, whatever, I'm sure this would cause an issue. It may even cause the belt to break. Who knows? So there you go. So I've been doing some research and apparently these belts, the racing belts, the racing belts, are meant to run a few track days, a few miles, one race, and replace them. So I wouldn't put them in at all if you're gonna even just track day your car or do autocross and maybe a, you know daily drive it once a month. This is that's my case. Only my case. Why replace the timing belt every other track day? You know what's the point? Just get an OEM one. And that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, so beware of this. If you are using an, a racing gates timing belt, beware of this. Take your timing belt, timing covers off. Check immediately to avoid issues. And if you are, you know, racing your car, track day, autocross, occasional daily, just go OEM. It's it. Those are still, you know, very good belts. And that's what I'm going to I'm going to do in my case. All right, that's it for you. See ya.